Back it comes to Whitelaw. Whitelaw turning at the left circle, still with it. Moody up top, having trouble, knocked away. Here comes a shorthanded break now for Wig. Wig moves it on Jones, shoots, scores! Plymouth State with their first shot of the night, and it goes into the back of the net, shorthanded. Andrew Wig makes it one nothing Panthers. Some good hustle there, but Andrew Wig gets his third goal in this season. Just a nice little poke check there. I believe it was against Gitsakis, and was, or Jones for excuse me, and then runs away with it, goes one on one Andrew Hare, sneaks it over block your side in a quick wrist shot. And gives Plymouth a shorthanded goal, which is just something you didn't expect, Mike, with all those power plays adding up. But a, a, a blow to the Lakers, nonetheless, in this first period. Unassisted at 440, the time of the goal. Here's McConney backing up off to Brown. McConney, one time for score! The Lakers quick to answer as McConney. Scores for the first time in a while on the power play, and it's tied at one. A good shot there by Jesse McCown. Guy's going hard to the net. Gets his second on the season. Versus the quick slam shot. Gets by as that just uh, pad side and gives the acres that equalizer. But a great shot there by McConey, who struggled defensively, but really makes up for it offensively in this one. Deflected up the middle. Wig can't get anywhere. Here's Moody up on the wing. Whitelaw sneaking up the left side. Here's Whitelaw moving in. Shooting. Scores! Welcome back, John Whitelaw. He hammers it home with a wrist shot, and the Lakers take their first lead of the game. And what a great sight to see as the cat didn't get on the board here in his first game back. Looked like he was looking for Paul Rodriguez, who was going down on Asdat. But nonetheless, Rodriguez goes down. Whitelaw takes the quick shot and gets the Lakers in front, 2-1. to one. And now we're going to have Arnone get tossed out of the faceoff, and Wig come in against Whitelaw. Got to watch Wig. He's already got a shorty tonight. Gertzakis up top, faking the shot, handing to Whitelaw at the left circle. Down low, into the slot, scores! Tic-tac-toe, Luke Moody in the slot, it's 3-1. to one. Paul Rodriguez finds Moody just waiting out in front. Moody hammers it home to the Lakers at 3-1 leave, and Luke Moody is on the scoring sheet for quite some time since the Potsdam game. And you know the Lakers are going well tonight when their top line is really producing. But like you said, Mike, tic-tac-toe passing between Rodriguez and Moody. It's like they never missed a beat with, with Whitelaw out. Cotto scoops it in. Batum takes it away. Then he was checked. Stevens with it. Five seconds to go on the penalty. Drop back to the point. Here's a quick shot by Fox. Save made. Rebound loose. Scores! Greco from beside the net. Hammers at home. The penalty had expired. That'll be an even strength goal. Plymouth State is back within one. And Greco right in the doorstep. But a big rebound in front by Dan Jones. And Greco goes top shelf. Blocker side on Jones. Turn this game to within within the one as Oswego leads three to two, but some good puck movement there by the Plymouth State uh, Panthers to get the puck from shot from the point, get that big rebound in front. That's hockey one on one. Find the back of the net, big rebound. There you go. Chris Brown in the left circle. Brown stashing it down low to Muse. Muse trying to walk out of the corner, back to Brown. Brown to McConney. He's already got one. Off to Brown again. Back to Jesse McConney. Center point. A out from the right circle. Hanging on. Back to McConney. Ayotte, one-timer, scores! Chris Ayotte had a whole lot of net to shoot at. That's the wrong guy to be given a whole lot of net to. The Lakers with their third power play goal in the first period and a 4-2 to two lead. And a great shot by Chris Ayotte with tons of net to find. Playing a little bit of pitch and catch with Jesse McConney, who makes his return to the power play unit. And just keeping Azzit on his toes and finding out who's going to take that initial shot. Chris A has done that all year and take that big take that big slap shot, find the back of the net, and get the Lakers that 4-2 lead. Ayat back across the White Law again. White Law faking. Looking back for Ayat, not finding him. Ayat tipping it down low. Moody trying to pry it free. Ayat keeping it in. Below the goal line. Back up top. Kurtzakis winds, fakes. White Law one timer deflected right on. Asked at the save and clear, but not out. Minute to go in the period. Ayat again scores. Chris Ayat with a replay of his first goal. And the Lakers with a high five here in the first period. Their fourth power play goal and a 5-2 to two lead. Almost the same exact goal as Chris Ayotte had earlier. A set and throw Bobby Gritsakis in where Jesse McCowney stood. Pitch and catch. Slap shot goes up high. Gets, almost gets up over, just gets over the shoulder of Jack Asdat as Ayotte joins the party with his second goal in the night. And the Lakers parade continues with five goals. In front of the Plymouth State bench. It's carried back in by the Panthers. Knocked out by Carr, though. Zach Fox hammers it around. 
Stevens lets it go, but so did Connell. Comes all the way to center, then off the skate of the linesman. And stolen by Chris Carr. Moving and shooting. He scores! Chris Carr with the theft and the finish. And he's had a great night and finally a goal to show for it. The Lakers have a four-goal lead at 6-2. to two. And the Plymouth State defense might want to call the cops now because Chris Carr absolutely robbed him on that. Take the puck all the way down and get it by... You get it by the, the Plymouth Netminder to give them that six goals, six goals on the night. And Chris Carr continues to impress on that third line with Brown the Titanic. Barra to center. Barra makes a nice move and gets Woody to go down. Got it up to Batham. Back into Barra. Passes behind him. The game is over. A pretty convincing 6-2 to two victory for the Oswego State Lakers. They will advance to the championship round of the Pathfinder Bank Oswego Hockey Classic to face the Lawrence Vikings. Plymouth and Castleton will play at one. The Lakers, more importantly, end their home losing streak. They get John Whitelaw back in the lineup. And really all is well in Lakerland at this moment.